Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I was going to talk to you guys a little bit about um, some issues I had going on with uh, my stomach, um, gastric issues. Um, a couple of months ago, uh, it's been several months ago, uh, it started on like a Wednesday night and I went into work and started driving around and um, got kind of sick to my stomach, but not real, real bad. But I started throwing up. I had to stop several times and started throwing up uh, to me for no reason. I mean, I, I wasn't feeling bad or nothing like that. I just started throwing up. I wasn't running a fever, wasn't doing anything like that. Um, and then this started happening a couple of different days after that. I started doing the same thing, and I, I couldn't understand what was going on. So this went on for about, I don't know, I probably let it go on for about a month. And kept getting sick to my stomach, and every time I would eat, I was having to run back and forth to the bathroom. Um, and just couldn't keep nothing down. So eventually, uh, I had burning sensation from my throat down to my stomach and every time I ate it was just like you was having like really bad heartburn but it's just burning from here down so I finally went to the ER got to throwing up so bad one day that um I just got dehydrated um I couldn't eat hardly anything and so they gave me uh, some stuff from my throat to keep the burning sensation uh, to go let to let it go away and they gave me an IV and they gave me medicine in the IV and also took an x-ray of my my I guess my chest and my stomach area um, and said that they couldn't find nothing but they put me on medications for like an ulcer um, and told me that I needed to see a, a specialist if it continued so they gave me a, a I can't remember exactly what medicine it was but it's like big big huge horse pills like white horse pills and I got to take I uh, started taking that and I started feeling a little bit better and then it went right back they put me on like two or three medications and then after I finished the medications um it got right back to where it was like worse again so and I'm sorry if I look dazed out or something I'm just I'm tired I work third shelf so I probably look like I'm still half asleep um, but come to find out I had to go to a specialist um, they checked my stool um, all that was fine it was negative um, but he wanted to set up a uh, an upper and lower GI sorry I got things popping up on my phone um, an upper and lower GI and I just had it done about a week or so ago and you know, they put me to sleep. Uh, I had to run three different IVs because they couldn't find a vein in my arm that would, you know, that they could get the IV in. So I had to get stuck three times. So while I was in there and they, they put me under, um, they said that I was really, really bad inflamed in my stomach and um, issues with me having to go to the bathroom. I had stuff going on down there. Um but I'm telling you, man, I got uh, to the point I was I was really uh, getting sick because I was throwing up so much. Um, I also had like uh, panic attacks or and anxiety attacks. I couldn't hardly sleep, and that that was part of the problem too. And I also had problem issues with my back, my lower back. But that's a, a totally different issue. Um, but what they found out is they called me back a couple of days ago. It's been probably about a week. They put me on medication. And the medication that they put me on uh, was two antibiotics and some kind of uh, gut pill or Prilosec or something that I'm supposed to take like 30 minutes before I eat dinner. So I've been taking that, and I've been feeling a little bit better. But they... They diagnosed me, um, as far as I can tell, they told me that I had H. pylori, uh, and it really sucks. 
and if you've never had it, it, it really sucks. It takes a lot of energy out of you. Um, I got to throwing up. I had burning in my esophagus. Um, I think what it done is I ate uh, a little bit of the lining in my stomach and stuff when I was actually throwing up and going through that. Um, I started trying to eat just a little bit better. I had to cut out like, you know, eating chocolate. I was trying to get on stuff like uh, yogurt, bananas, uh, something that wasn't like real solid food, like mashed, pota mashed potatoes, uh, something that I could keep down without having to throw back up. I mean, I know that sounds nasty, but um, anyway, I've been on these pills going on about a week now. It's like I've got to stay on them for like 14 days. I've got to take two antibiotics. And I can't remember what the other two are called, but one, one of them is amoxicillin. And then there's another antibiotic. And then there's a, a pill that you got to take 30 minutes or an hour before you eat dinner. And they are helping somewhat. I'm still having some cramping in my stomach. And that was a big issue. I was just cramping so bad it would almost bend you over double. And having gastric issues suck having this h pylori sucks if anybody's ever had it and so for right now what i'm doing is i'm taking the uh i'm taking the pills for 14 days and having to go back and i think they're going to check my stool sample again which it didn't do no good the first time so i don't know, understand why it would do good the second time around if it, if it don't show anything but the only reason that they could tell that i had h pylori is when they went down, uh, they took a brush and they go down in there and they they scrub uh, little bitty particles off and then they do a biopsy. And so they pull it back out. They send it off to a lab and test it. That's how it came back, H. pylori. So anybody that's not had this, I mean, you can pull stuff up online. Uh, by what I'm reading, it's very hard to get rid of. You can have it from what I understand. I don't know like a ton about it, but uh, I heard that it could actually live inside your gut for a very long time and you not even know it. Um, so if you're having like stomach cramps, burning sensation, um, you know, anything from like anxiety, uh, dizziness, um, kind of like a panic attack where you can't sleep at night, uh, you're cramping so bad you're doubling over and having to run back and forth to the bathroom every time you eat. I was actually going, honestly, five or six times a day uh, because as soon as I would eat, I would have to go. So um, I drive around at night and I've got a job where you got to go check things out and all this stuff. Well, if I eat anything, I got to make sure that there's a bathroom pretty close because it just it hits you that quick um the stomach cramps really sucks it it does so i just wanted to jump on here and say that you know if you've got h pylori i'm going through it right now uh, i'm taking the antibiotics um, i've had this for several months it's probably been six seven eight months somewhere that it's been a, a pretty long time but i'm just wanting to get this killed off uh if it if these pills don't help, then I think they're going to try putting me on another different type of medications and try something that way. Um, changing the lifestyle and the way you eat and what you can eat on this stuff may help a lot too. So I feel you if you're going through this. It uh, I hate it because uh, I just I want this cure because it uh, it takes effect on your body. It makes you weak, makes you feel like you just don't want to do nothing at all. Uh, you don't feel like going out much because if you go to a restaurant or eat, it's like you you got to eat and then you go straight to the restroom. Um, but anyway, I appreciate you guys supporting my channel. I hope I get to make a whole lot more videos. I was wanting to. Uh, maybe teach a little bit on guitar like you know just basic stuff maybe like tuning a guitar uh just getting basic chords like g c d and elf you know just basic chords where you could actually play a song 
So if you're interested in that, um, just uh, hit like, hit subscribe to my channel, and follow me on this H. pylori. And uh, at the end of this, I'll try to put up uh, my pictures of the inside on what it looks like. They said it was very, very inflamed. Um, it's like real raw, like like red meat when you put it out on a grill. Uh, before you do it, it's just like that red. So I've got a lot of inflammation, if that's how you say it, inside of me. Uh, and that's what I'm trying to get cured too because I want to get it all back to normal. So I appreciate you guys. Um, I hope you follow me. I hope you subscribe and just be part of the family. And I appreciate it. And I thank you. And have a good day. And the pictures will be after this. I'm going to try to put the pictures on after, or it's either after or before I'll put the pictures on what I look like. So I'll catch you on the next time. Thank you. God bless.